The life raft must be in good condition. Vessel's name and port of registry clearly marked on it. Identification cards should be updated for the particular life raft on board. The hydrostatic release unit must be checked. The weak link should be correctly connected. The expiry date of the HRU is very important. It must be verified. Storage positions should be marked with IMO symbols. The life raft launching procedure should be posted clearly near the life raft and under an emergency light. Sometimes the life rafts are transported with the transportation straps which should be removed in the storage position. You have to follow the maker's guidance for this. Some of them do not have to be removed. They get torn apart when the life raft inflates and this is usually indicated on the life raft body. All your ship staff must be thoroughly familiar with the life raft launching procedures whether it is the manual launching or the automatic launching when the ship sinks. Check the forward life raft. The Senhaus slip should be fitted, life jackets and immersion suits provided for them. IMO symbols in place clearly marked with the number as well. Proper checks of the life jackets and immersion suits should be carried out as discussed before. The embarkation ladder for the forward life raft should be in good condition. There should be a certificate for this. The condition of the thimble and the de-shackle must be specifically checked. Often they get rusted. Steps should be in good condition. Side ropes should be in good condition. At times they can get worn out and may need to be replaced. Confirm that the forward life raft launching point is highlighted, stenciled and the exit gates are greased and lubricated. The pin should be free to move. The condition of the forward life raft embarkation light should be checked. If it is a battery operated light, you should not have to bring it aft to charge it. You should be able to charge it in the forward. 